I'm on the Greenpeace ship Esperanza. We're in the Chukchi Sea after just completing the first ever research submarine dives here in the Chukchi Sea up in the Arctic. The most surprising thing that we found right in the midst of Shell's proposed drill sites here in the Arctic is a huge abundance of soft corals. These are really important because they provide habitat for fish and other marine life. One of the things that we're trying to understand now is why these corals are not included in the environmental impact statement for Shell's proposed drilling. Right where Shell proposes to be drilling, we found more coral than people have seen in most other places in the world's oceans. The video is the permanent record of what we saw. We use scaling lasers or indexing lasers to show people exactly how big everything is. It allows us to quantify the video. The pink fuzzy bits, those are the soft corals. And you see them fairly often, usually one every screen or so. This is a soft coral here. Here's another soft coral. Here's a soft coral here, soft coral up here. And again, just hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of brittle stars. This up here is a basket star. And these basket stars, when they're very small, are actually climbing up the stalks of the soft corals and hiding in the branches. The Chukchi is one of the most productive pieces of ocean in the world. We have so much plankton down there that you can barely see through it. All that plankton in the water doesn't just make the visibility difficult for scientists trying to understand how the system works. In the event of a disaster and an oil spill, it would make things very difficult for cleanup or recovery. There's a lot more that we don't know than what we do know about how any real deep ocean ecosystem works, but that's especially true up in the Arctic. We're, we're kind of stuck with not having answers to most of the questions that we want to ask. How are these different species connected? What would happen if there was an accident up here? We don't know, and unfortunately we won't find out until something terrible happens.